I just don't need to have it. Yeah. I, 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 that's what I was saying before, is that, and I don't say this with any sadness, what I'm about to say. I'm not saying this as a man who has lost something. I'm saying this as a man who has gained something, is that I don't require, even crave, sex with another person now. Man, woman, midget. I was going to say child. I won't say child. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I don't want, I don't require sex with another person now. It's, it's not that good. And uh, this is what I started to say before. And I don't feel that as a loss. I've had sex with so many people in so many situations. I've done it. If I haven't had her, I've had someone just like her. And I know that's true for you, too. And I don't feel that as a loss. That is a peace that's in my life. That's wonderful. All of the complications that sex brought into my life aren't there anymore. And one of the complications, one of the main reasons that sex brought such complications into my life is because I was always accompanied by drugs. Always. I never had sex without drugs. Well, when you used to, let's go back to LSD in the 60s, when you used to having sex on LSD for 18 hours and the room is changing colors and her breasts are bigger than uh, Gibraltar and and you come for hours and 18 to, you know, were you supposed to go down? And then it was MDA and then ecstasy and speed and cocaine and everything else, all the drugs that, at least for a while, enhance sex. After a while, they do the opposite. But how are you supposed to come down from an evening at ecstasy, you know, with uh, three different girls and how are you supposed to come from that to just a nice quiet evening with a woman you love maybe a t and making soft quiet love for half an hour Ugh, it's boring it's it's not it's better than a sharp stick in the eye but it's nothing to go out of your way for so at this point in my life when I've had thousands of people I, I'm not compelled to have sex with people anymore. And thank God, the more important people in my life are not compelled to do it either. So it's a freedom. I have less energy than I used to have anyway, but the energy that I have now, I can put into other things. And I don't do drugs anymore, much. I was gonna bring some cocaine too. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I wouldn't even, it would tempt me, but I don't, those are the drugs I don't touch anymore. The, most of the drugs I've listed that are really good for sex have a, a speed element to them, be it cocaine or LSD or, I don't touch that stuff anymore. I really don't. So, it goes together. I don't do the drugs, I don't do the sex. And it's a good trade off. I'm happy about that. Yeah. You know, to be 70, really? 75, 80 and still fucking like a bunny seems to me a waste if not a waste an expenditure of a lot of energy that I need I need all the energy I can get for <clears throat> other things in life do you exercise? yeah huh? as soon as we're done here I'm going to exercise you gotta, so I think that's what I have to do I'm a, a trainer, a class I had cancer uh Four years ago now, right, right here. See, this, wow, I see. There's a, a slight indentation yeah. and hook to my nose, a little more Jewish from this side than this side. Oh, this yeah. nice Roman straight nose. I, get a little bit, I had cancer here, and they opened this up three times. Took a, took a big old squamous tumor for under that. And um, I'm good now. When they did, they had to sever something called the trigeminal nerve in my face, which is the main nerve. So I have a neuropathy. Do you have any nerve problems ever? Nerve problems can give you. It's, it's my a severed trigeminal 
is listed as one of the greatest pains. I could show you right now on your computer. It's listed as one of the greatest pains you can have. I don't experience it that way, but I do need to quiet it with Lyrica and as a drug and Lyrica makes you tired. So I have to guard and parcel out my energy in ways that I didn't used to do. There it is right there, it's right down on. So I hear you. So you, do you think that if you didn't have that, you would still have more, a lot more energy? I think that I would have more energy. I still don't think that I would go back to fucking a lot because I don't want to do drugs anymore. Without drugs, I don't want to fuck. Without fucking, I don't want to do drugs. And I mean drugs. I don't mean bullshit drugs like marijuana or occasional, you know, Percocet. I don't mean that. I mean drugs. <laughs> Heavy. Heavy, yeah. Drugs and sex are great. Come on, they are.